hi welcome back to grandma ray don't play and i'm rachel so today i got a treat for you you're gonna love it look i'm gonna show you how to cook cheese stuffed meatballs in the air fryer oven that's right cheese stuffed meatballs so i'm gonna put some mixed blend cheese inside a meatball and show you how to close that up form it back into a meatball and we're going to cook it in the air fryer oven so when you bite into it that ooze of cheese comes out it's gonna be good okay all right let me adjust the camera we're going to get started shall we thank you okay so what I did first with the ground beef is I uh, mixed some breadcrumbs with it. You just want to mix a little at a time. So start off with, if you have, let's say, uh, two pounds of hamburger, start off with a quarter of a cup and see how that is. You don't want it too bready and you don't want it uh, loose, okay? So you just want it so that the hamburger can come together. So start with a quarter and then use your judgment. I also added some sea salt, some pepper, and some onion powder, okay? All right, so let's get started. So I have, uh, I did, I already stuffed these meatballs with cheese, okay, ahead of time. So now I want to show you how to make them, all right? So I have the meatballs here. Here's one that is just the breadcrumbs and the hamburger and the seasonings, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is smash it down almost flat, flat as if you're going to make a mini hamburger and then we're going to put the cheese in the middle and I'm going to show you how to close that up. Okay so here we go. We're flattening it out and here's my mixed blend cheese. Okay so I have a tablespoon I'm working with. You want to put it right in the center. Okay so let me see if I can pick this up so I can show you. The cheese in the center okay all right so now we're gonna close it up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the ends together okay doesn't matter which end you start from and then you want to pinch it together once you get it uh, the each end touching pinch it pinch it pinch it pinch it pinch it and if some cheese ooze out then you keep pinching it with some more uh, hamburger meat that you haven't pinched until you get it completely closed in. Okay? Now you're going to take it in. It's all, it's all in, see? Okay? Alright, so now you're going to take it in the palm of your hand and roll it into a meatball. And if it comes open like it did me, pinch it again. Eventually, this is going to stay closed. Okay, now we're going to roll it. There we go. See? Okay. Okay, so we're going to do one more. I have the meatball. We're going to press it down flat. Put the cheese in the middle. Okay, now we're going to pinch it together, end to end. Pinch it. Okay, you see? Alright, so once you have it all sealed as best you can, you pinched it all together. If it opens up, pinch some more until you get a nice seam that you don't see no cheese. Okay? All right, now we're going to put it in our hand, roll it into a meatball. Pinch it if it opens up. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now I have a total of, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Eight meatballs. That's enough for a family of four. Okay. All right. So the rest of the cheese you want to save for later, and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. And I did that over aluminum foil so I can just throw it away. Okay? All right, let me just rinse off my hand. Okay, now we're going to put it in. We're going to put it in the air fryer oven. Okay, so. I have it in this pan so all the excess um, fat that will fall off the meatballs will be in this pan so we don't have to worry about the bottom of the uh, air fryer oven okay so we're going to turn it on let's do this at a high temperature 370 is great let's start out with uh, we're gonna go Okay, it's on 15 minutes. That'll work. I'll check it in 10. Okay? Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll be right back in 10 minutes or so. Okay, you can see our off button is on. So let's take a look and see what's going on with the cheesy meatballs, shall we? Okay. Let me see. Okay, the only way you can tell is you gotta take the temperature. Because it looks brown, but that doesn't mean it's done. I'm gonna go right into the middle because that would be the one that would be done the least because it's in the middle. Okay, well... We're at 148. Okay, so I'm going to give it five more minutes. We stopped at 148. So remember, we started out with 15 minutes. And so I'm going to put this back in for another five minutes. That'll give us a total of 20 minutes cooking time. Okay, on 370. All right, let me set it. So on 370, take this down to five minutes. And we'll be back in five minutes thank you okay let's see what's going on we got a total of uh, 20 minutes of cooking time invested let's see what the temperature is gonna be you can tell when it's at the right temp because it moves really fast oh we're good we're over 163 we are good for ground beef that's good okay so i'm gonna plate it up and then i'll let you take a look and i'll take a bite and let you see the cheese just come out okay i'll be back okay so here we go we have our cheesy meatballs with a nice salad. I'm not eating any starch. This is it. Okay. Let me give you another view. And one more. And I have uh, for the salad dressing, Catalina salad dressing and some cheese on the top. I told you I was going to do something with some cheese. So I put it on top of the salad. Okay. So let me cut into the meatball and let you look. Okay, let's 
take a bite of this. And let me turn the camera so you can see me. Okay, so I cut into the uh, cheesy meatball. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, it's a, a orange color inside. Creamy. Delicious. I don't like it. Let me try some of my salad. Mmm. Very good. Very good. I think you're going to like the cheesy meatballs. So you can eat it on a plate like I'm eating. Or you can make like a meatball sub. Or maybe of a pasta. You be the choice. Okay. So let me just finish chewing. I'm sorry. Okay. So I just want to say... You know, you know, I really appreciate you all hanging in there with me and watching me and rooting for me and commenting to me because you make me really feel like you like this, like I like it. I love it, okay? I love, love, love bringing you the best I can bring, okay? So let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day is you have to make a decision okay so maybe you're not sure about your decision that you're coming to and that's why you haven't went all the way to um, execute your decision talk it over with some people that you know you feel confident and that are not going to be judgmental against you somebody that uh, maybe can see your point of view and give you their point of view and then go ahead and make that decision will you after all it's you who got to make the decision go ahead and do it you're good okay this is grandma ray don't play and i would like for you if you're first time on my channel to subscribe and if you've already subscribed, I'd like for you to call and tell someone and so and encourage them to come check it out. We got some good stuff going on over here, okay? All right. Thank you for doing that for me, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye.